Hi everyone, this is my new bike, the 2021 Merida Silex 400. Um, I've had this for about three days now, so this is my third time out. And um, just given my initial impressions of the bike, um, I did buy this as a do it all. So it will be my road bike, my gravel bike, and anything in between. Um, and so my review's probably aimed a little bit more on the roadside as well um, with a mix of gravel. So my initial impressions coming from a road bike were that I thought it was too small, honestly. Um, it's definitely not as stretched out as a road bike uh, and it's definitely a lot taller in both the head stack height um, and the seating position just feels a little bit lower than usual. So first thing to note is I dropped the stem just to try get my reach a little bit further um, and this integrated stem is really cool but probably not the greatest when you want to drop it um, so I'll probably try to get a new stem cut there. I am probably looking at getting a slightly longer stem. This has an 85 mil stem on a large. Um, probably go to about 100 mil and see how that feels. Maybe go to 110. Um, if you're only running gravel, the 85 mil is perfect. But for a road bike as well, want a bit more, be a bit more reached out. Um, so group set GRX 400, 2x10. We've got 46, 30 chain rings on the front. Uh, and I think it's a 10 to 36 on the rear clutch driven mech um, really good no chain slap that I've noticed yet the hub sounds really nice which I noticed on I watched a lot of reviews before no one noticed the hub sound so that's a big thing for me um, and yeah it comes with 38c Maxxis Rambler tires good in between they're um, got a really nice round profile so Good for riding on the road and a little bit of grip for gravel if you're doing chunkier gravel i would go a bit wider this bike does say it fits a maximum 42c um, i reckon you could get a 45 in there the pinch point would be this rear chain stay here um, so we've got two bottle cage mounts and one in the frame one below if you want to carry anything extra some nice mounting points on the forks um, yeah really nice so one thing I noticed as well with the cable routing, this is obviously supposed to be a European bike so they run their brakes on the opposite sides. In Australia, because the rear brakes on the left, this cable hose, or the rear brake hose, was a little bit funny. So when it came out, it was rubbing on the frame. I've just tried to tie it across to the front brake hose just to stop any scratching from happening. Um, but yeah, the the handlebars feel really nice, um, they're nice and narrow on the hoods, they flare out a little bit on the drops, um, yeah. So I was tossing up when I first put an order on the bike whether to get the Silex 400 or the 300. The 300 is a 1x11 drivetrain, which I believe has an 11 to 46 tooth rear cassette um, and a 36 tooth front chain ring. Um, I went the 2 by because, as I said, I wanted to use it for the road as well. Um, so it just gives a better range of gearing. My first ride, I did think the gearing was a little easy. Um, that 46 is a little small, but I'm getting used to it now. You can still sit on 42, 43k an hour and produce some power. Um, but yeah, you use a lot of the bottom gears most of the time. So still easy, easy bike to sit on. 29, 30k an hour average speed on the flats, um, which is good. That's enough for me on the road. The only thing I did do to set it up was I've run 80 psi on these tyres. They say maximum 60, but I think they should be right. I will set those up tubeless eventually. Um, maybe put a rim protection insert in the rear so I can drop it a little bit, but for the road off, we'll still run it a little bit higher and then just drop it down when I do a bit of gravel riding. Um, the hydro brakes are wonderful as you'd expect and yeah not much else to say I'd say just if you get into it understand that it is not a road bike the geometry is a little bit different um, once you get used to it it's nice it's nice and comfy and should take you on some good adventures <laughs>